Hi everybody, I am Dr. Armen, Professor Armen Astvatsadrian from Yerevan, Armenia, and you are on Dr. Y channel. So for you, I am Dr. Y. And we will start with public health, so public health genesis. Why genesis? Chapter of this topic, because genesis is the beginning. Genesis is the first book of the Bible dealing with the creation and the patriarchs. So, we have some classic definitions of uh, several authors. The classic definition of Winslow, 1920. Public health is, is the science and art, and art of preventing disease, prolonging life, and promoting health through organized efforts and informed choice of society, organizations, public and private, communities and individuals. Okay, so the science and the art of preventing disease, prolonging life, not only prevent, but prolong life, and promoting health through organized efforts and informed choice of society, organizations, public and private communities and individuals. So three goals is the preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting life. Promoting health. Uh, there are some other definitions. One of the American Public Health Association. Public health is the practice of preventing disease and promoting good health with groups of people from small communities to entire countries. So, American Public Health Association definition of public health is public health is the practice of preventing disease preventing disease and promoting good health within group of people from small communities to entire countries world health, world health organization according to world health organization public health refers to all organized measures to all organized measures whether public or private to prevent disease, promote health, and prolong life among the population as a whole, in activities aimed to provide conditions in which people can be healthy and focus on entire populations, not on individual patients or the disease. The public health system, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Preventing, CDC, so, public health systems are commonly defined as all public, private, and voluntary entities that contribute to the delivery of essential public health service services with a jurisdiction. So, common definition of public health, public health is defined as the science of pretending, pretending the safety and improving the health of communities through education, policy making, and research for disease and injury prevention. So, public health is defined as the science of protecting the safety and improving the health of communities through education, policy making, and research for disease and injury prevention. That's all is good, but what is health? Well, so when we talk about public health, it's very good, we understand, maybe, but what is health? So, World Health Organization, in, in his constitution, remains firmly committed to the principles set out in the preamble to the constitution. So, what is health? It's very important to understand. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely in the absence of disease or infirmity i think if you got if you understand this sentence i absolutely agree with this uh, sentence it will be okay huh? so you, you know public health about 50 percent of public what is public health and what is health this is not only a philosophical question health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not more merely, not just the absence of disease and, or infirmity. So, and the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health is one of the fundamental rights of every human being, without the distinction of race, religion, 
political belief, economic or social condition. The health of all peoples is fundamental. Fundamental. Okay? Is uh, fundamental to the attainment of the peace, peace and security and is dependent on the fullest cooperation of individuals and states. The achievement of any state in the promotion and protection of health is of value to all. Unequal development in different countries in the, is in the promotion of health and control of disease, especially communicable disease, is a common danger. Healthy development of the child is, a basic, is of basic importance. The ability to live harmoniously in a changing total environment is essential to such development. The extension to all peoples of the benefits of medical, psychological and related knowledge is essential to the fullest attainment of health. Informed opinion and active cooperation of the part of the public are of the utmost important importance in the improvement of the health of the people. Utmost. Utmost. At most importance. Uh, improvement in uh, importance in the improvement of health of the people. Governments have a responsibility for the health or their peoples, which can be fulfilled only by the provision of adequate health and social measures. Now I understand what is health, and it's very important. It's noted in the Constitution, in preamble, preamble of uh, Constitution of the World Health Organization. So, okay, what is public health for you, my friends? The definition of public health is different for every person. Whether you like to crunch numbers, conduct laboratory or field research, formulate policy or work directly with people to help improve their health, there is a place for you in the field of public health. Being a public health professional enables you to work around the world address health problems of communities as a whole and influence policies that affect the health of society, societies. But we've got threads and dimensions. Yeah? Yeah. Public health concerned with threads to health based on population health analysis. Okay? To a public health concerned with threats to health based on population health analysis. The population in question can be as small as a handful of people or as large as the as all the inhabitants of several countries. For example, in the case of pandemic. Oh, this pandemic, yes. So, the dimensions of health can en encompass, englobe, encompass a state of a complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely in the absence of disease or infirmity. Okay, as defined by the United Nations World Health Organization that we noted above. So, state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely in the absence of disease or infirmity. That is noted in preamble of the Constitution of the World Health Organization as is adopted by the International Health Conference 1946. So, public health involves the application of many, many different disciplines. Of course, this, of course, this is a medicine, biology, anthropology, public policy, mathematics, for statistics, for example, education, of course, engineering, psychology, digital science, sociology, business, history, and others, others, and others. So, what do public health professionals do. As a public health professional, 
you, my friend, will be trained to perform one of more these 10 essential services. Monitor the health status of a community to identify potential problems. Diagnose and investigate health problems and hazards in the community. Inform, educate and empower people about health issues, particularly the, the underserved and those at risk. Mobilize community partnerships to identify this and solve health problems. Develop policies and plans that support individual and community health efforts. Enforce laws and regulations that protect health and ensure safety. Link people to needed personal health services and ensure the provision of health care when otherwise unavailable. Ensure a competent public health and personal health care work workforce. Evaluate effectiveness, accessibility and quality of personal and population-based based health services. Research new insights and innovate solutions to health problems. The need for public health professionals, for example, in the United States. The public health field currently is experiencing a shortage in workers, while the United States population continues to grow. As, a, as a worldwide. The co this combination is expect why United States because it's a good example. Maybe not very not not excellent example, but checkable example with references. So the public health field currently is experiencing a storage in experiencing a storage in workers, while the United States populations continue to grow and be uh, elder. This combination is expected to result in a shortage of nearly 250,000 professionals, approximately one-third of the workforce needed to identify, treat and prevent new and emerging public health threats. Interdisciplinary approaches. Public health incorporates the interdisciplinary approaches that we talk about above, Ep epidemiology, that we have to pass, biostatistics, biostatistics, of course, and health services. Uh, environmental health, community health, behavioral health, health economics, public policy, insurance medicine, mental health, and occupational safety and health are other important subfields. The focus of public health intervention is to improve health and quality of life through prevention and treatment of disease and other physical and mental health conditions. This is done through surveillance of cases and health indication indicators and through promotion of healthy behaviors. Examples of common public health measures, my friends, include promotion of hand washing, breastfeeding, delivery of vaccinations and distribution of condoms to control the spread of sexually transmitted disease, diseases. In terms of public health, teams, I'm sorry, of public health. Modern public health practice requires multidisciplinary teams of public health workers and professionals, including physicians specializing in community, medicine, infectious disease, psychologists, epidemiologists, biostatistics, medical assistant of assistant medical officers, public health nurses, midwives, medical microbiologists, environmental health officers, public health inspectors, pharmacists, dentists, uh, di dieticians, of course, and nutritionists, vet veterinarians, public health engineers, public health lawyers, sociologists, community development workers, communication experts, bioethics and others. So great injustice or consistent pattern. There is a great disparity in access to health care and public health initiatives between developed nations and developing, and developing nations. In the developing world, 
public health instructorates are still forming. Are still forming. The focus. The focus of public health intervention is to prevent and manage diseases, injuries and other health conditions through surveillance of cases and the promotion of healthy behaviors, communities and environments. Many diseases are preventable through simple non-medical methods. For example, research has shown that the simple act of hand washing with soap can prevent many contagious disease. Just washing with soap can prevent many contagious disease. Public health, communica public health communications programs, vaccination programs and distribution of condoms are examples of common public health measures. Measures such as these have contributed greatly to the health populations and increases in life expectancy. Public health plays an important role in disease prevention efforts in both the developing world, world and in developed countries through local health systems and non-governmental organizations. So, the World Health Organization is the international agency that coordinates and acts on global public health issues. The World Health Organization was established on 7th April 1948, headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The World Health is a member of the United Nations Development Group. Its predecessor, the Health Organization, was an agency of the League of Nations. Actually, I will. I don't know what what about my time, but I will try. I will try to uh, talk about World Health Organizations in another maybe topics, but not today. Huh? Well, I don't know. We will see. Most countries have their own government public health agencies, sometimes known as ministers of health, to respond to domestic health issues. In the United States, the front, of, the front line of public health initiatives are state and local health department, departments. The U.S. Public Health Services, PHS, uh, PHS is a public health services, led by the Surgeon General of the United States and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Headquarters in Atlanta are involved with several international health activities in addition to their national duties. In Canada, the Public Health Agency of Canada is the national agency responsible for public health, emergency prepar preparedness and response, and infectious and chronic disease control and prevention. The public health system in India is managed by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of India with state-owned health care facilities. <coughs> so, definition of public health and public health uh, operations. Public health is a discipline concerned about preventing disease and protecting and protecting and protecting and promoting health through the organized efforts of society public health services are delivered to the whole population and to specific population groups both collectively and individually among others, public health services include communicable and non-communicable disease surveillance, environmental and occupational health, food safety, emergency preparedness, vaccination screening programs, health promotion and public education, research, public health administration, injury control, mental health and development implementation and evaluation of effective, of effective programs and policies. So three basic elements, 
Public health focuses on health protection and disease prevention, while medical care deals with restoration of health through curative services. Okay, so what is public health goal? They focuses so you huh, focuses on health protection and disease prevention, while medical care deals uh, with restoration of health through curative services. So if you want, public health is a policy, politics huh, <coughs> of uh, medicine. So public health once again focuses on health protection and disease prevention, while medical care deals with restoration or health through curative uh, services. Doesn't mean that medical care, medical specialist doesn't work with prevention at all, but totally, uh, generally. The practice of public health deals with three basic elements, people, information, information, and final resources, financial resources, uh, that's financial resources. Uh, so about parameters of public health, my friends. Parameters of public health. The parameters that determine the process and the style of practice in public health are the following. Public health is interdisciplinary. Uh, science, if you want. Although some disciplines may be more important for a certain problem context, context, most public health problems need to need the inputs of a number of disciplines for a resolution. Public health is a force of change, and public health is a force of change. And the public health professional is an agent of this change. Rewards are long term. Often the outcomes of public health programs cannot be assessed for several decades. The outcomes for the preventive effort and the population level are to be identified in the long term. Public health primarily a social concern. The agenda of public health professional incorporates a number of issues that are rooted primarily in the social and political context. Sorry, intervention has a scientific base. Research information from, a, from the field as well as laboratory has formed the basis for public health policy making an intervention. Practice is largely limited to the institutional framework. Practice in public health is based on teamwork within the organizational structure which provides the legal framework for the practice, the necessary resources and continuity to the programs. Personal characteristics, characteristic, characteristics of the professional, being part of a team and accepting to be a known professional involved in building the future structure of social health is what they required from the vast majority of public health professionals. <coughs> the core public health operations and their definitions. Okay. First, surveillance and assessment of the population's health and well-being. This includes the setup and operation of surveillance system focused on disease of public health importance and ongoing collection of data to be issued for assessing measures of morbidity and population health indexes. It includes the community health diagnosis, analysis of trends, gaps and inequalities in the health status of specific populations, identifi identification of needs and planning of data-oriented oriented interventions. Okay, second is identifying health problems and health hazards in the community. This includes monitoring identification and prediction of biological, chemical and physical health risks 
in the workplace and the environment. Application of risk assessment tools for environmental health risks and issuing public warnings about these risks. And the planning and the activation of interventions aimed at minimizing, minimizing environmental-related health risks. Third, prepar preparedness and planning for public health emergencies. What is this? This includes preparedness for management of emergency events, including the construction of suitable action plans, developing systems for data collection and for control and preventing of morbidity during unusual events, and applying an integrative approach in order to cooperate effectively with various authorities involved in the management of unusual events. Fourth, health protection operations, health protection operations, environmental occupation, food, safety, and others. So what is this, my friends? And this includes, this includes what? The technical, sorry, it was call from emergency. Huh? So health protection operations, environment, occupation, food, safety, and others. This includes the technical capacity for risk assessment for and actions needed for environmental, occupational, and food safety. Enforcement and control activities are applied by public health authorities that supervise actions with health implications. So this operation includes the institutional capacity to develop the regulatory and enforcement frameworks that protect public health and monitor compliance within three frameworks and the capacity with, with these sorry with these frameworks and the capacity to generate new laws and regulations aimed at improving public health as well as promoting health environments disease prevention my friends disease prevention our our trick, yes, about disease prevention. Let's talk about this. What is disease prevention? Disease prevention is aimed at both communicable and non-communicable disease. Disease prevention services include primary prevention through, for example, vaccination of children, adults and ad elderly, and vaccination of post-exposure prophylaxis for persons exposed to a communicable disease. The provision of information on behavioral and medical health risks to the population, as well as constitutional and measures to decrease risks at the personal and community level systems and procedures for involving primary health care uh, and uh, specialized care in programs on disease prevention the capacity for the prediction uh, sorry production maintenance and purchasing childhood and adult vaccines and production and purchasing nutritional and food supplementation uh -huh. yeah secondary prevention my friends So, primary before disease, secondary after disease, huh? yeah. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. Secondary prevention includes evidence-based screening programs for early detection of diseases. Maternal and child health programs, including screening and prevention of congenital malformations. In the production and purchasing chemi of chemoprophylactic agents. The production and purchasing of screening tests for the elderly detection of diseases. And building capacity in relation for, to actual or potential needies. needs. Six, health promotion, my friends, health promotion. 
What is health promotion? Health promotion is the process of enabling people to increase control over their health and its determinants and thereby improve it. It contributes to the control of communicable and non-communicable diseases and other threats to health. Health promotion includes the following activities. First, the promotion of changes in a lifestyle, practices and environmental conditions to facilitate the development of a culture of a culture of health among individuals and the community. The educational and social communications aim at promoting healthy conditions, lifestyle behaviors and environments. Mm. The reorientation of health services to develop models of care that encourage health promotion. The strengthening intersectoral partnerships for more effective health promotion activities, the assessment of the impact of public policies on health, and risk communication. The means of achieving this include conducting health promotion activities for the community at the large for the community at large of the populations and increased risk of negative health outcomes. Seven point is evaluation of quality and effectiveness of personal and community health services. This includes developing standards for ensuring the quality of personal and community health services for diseases prevention and health promotion and evaluation of these services based on these standards. Evaluation should identify weakness in governance and operation, resource provision and the delivery of services. Findings of the evaluations provide feedback for policy and management, organization and provision of, provision of resources to improve service delivery. Eight point, assuring a competent public health and the personal health care, works, uh, care workforce. So what is this? Investment and development of a public health workforce is an essential prerequisite. Prerequisite. Prerequisite prerequisite for delivery and implementation of public health services and activities. Human resources constitute the most important resources in developing public health services. This includes training, this includes the education of course, training, development and evaluation of public health workforce to identify the needs of public health services to address public health problems and evaluate public health activities. L licensing procedures for public health professionals assures a qualified workforce. So nine point is a leadership, governance and the in initiation, development and planning of public health policy. Policy development enables informed decisions to be made concerning issues related to public health. It's a strategic planning, planning processes involving all internal and external stakeholders, defining the vision, the mission, the measurable health goals, and the public health activities internationally, nationally, regional, regionally, and locally. And Tenspoise Health Related Research. Health Related Research. Research informs policy development and service delivery. This includes research for enlarging the knowledge base that supports evidence-based policy making at all levels and development of new research methods, innovative technologies and solutions in public health, and the establishment of collaborative research centers and academic institutions to conduct timely studies that support decision making. That's all concerning first part of public health, my friends. Thanks for your attention. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel Dr. Y and don't forget to make your donates to our channel how to make these donates description we can you can find in description of this video in YouTube goodbye God bless you